Welcome to the Goodwood Festival of Speed and welcome to my second Michelin mission of this year. That's right, as the title would suggest, we've got the first drive in the all new Koenigsegg Roguerre. side of things uh, is actually derived from Formula One so it has F1 EV technology behind us but that single drive is incredible we have two paddles here which instinctively from someone who's been driving normal supercars for the last God knows how many years you've got two paddles in front of you you instinctively want to pull them to go up or up or down a gear they're only there to go into neutral reverse or forward drive so once you're once you've set off you have to get in into your head that this is single gear, linear drive, around about 1,500 horsepower and 1,500 pounds-feet of torque through the
the rear tires alone. I'm, I'm looking at my co-driver who's very conveniently holding the camera for me and we're both in disbelief. So we're gonna queue up. I mean, the cars in front of us are incredible. We'll share those with you shortly. Yeah, let's do this. This is gonna be what's known as a ride of a lifetime. Are you ready? Dude, we're going, we're going, we're going. in this car we're gonna park it behind the other Koenigsegg okay I don't care about the helmet hand I don't think you do either where do I start with that um, world's first single geared hypercar it's unlike anything I love the festival of speed it's so good um, linear linear pull I'm trying to think if there's anything I've driven that compares to that kind of acceleration Maybe when I take off in an aeroplane, really. And, but, but then some, and there's so much available on tap. I was, I was taking it respectfully swift, I would say. We weren't going ballistic, but without trying too hard, it's the fastest I've ever driven up that hill with, with very little effort. Um, it's, it's all about the torque. I know I say this over and over again. So horsepower is, is revs, but the thing that you feel that slams you into the back of your seat, rearranges your organs and opens your eyes out wide. That is torque, that's twisting effort. 1,500 pounds feet. We're normally used to saying these things in Newton meters. It's closer to 2,000 Newton meters of torque for those of you guys who operate in that metric. I didn't digest the thesaurus that I should have done to help convey the reality of how special this thing is. It's special to look at, it's special to hear, it's special to drive special and I'm honored so I'm gonna step back a bit uh, try and come up with a few more words and insights and then on the way back down we may have another chin wag about the experiences that come to mind I'm just gonna have a breather so there's actually three electric motors on this car that contribute to that incredible 1500 horsepower uh, as a result and in the true nature of Koenigsegg the amount of details and information that you can get on the systems on this car is incredible so we've got the central electric motor temperature so central electric motor there's three motors the back left and right wheels have their own motors and then the central drivetrain on this single gear drivetrain has its own motor so you've got central electric motor temperatures and left and right motor temperatures the combined power of those three is 700 horsepower and then you've got battery pack voltage the cell temperature the rear axle temperature torque converter temperature this is much more like we're in some sort of aviation technology than we are in a car it really is something to behold and to witness it and feel how effortlessly it puts all of this this technology even to read about it and to digest it several times it's complicated to get your brain around it but what's very special is that when you just want to simply make this thing drive it is so seamless and effortless i think that is the trick from Koenigsegg is making something so incredibly complex just so usable. Very 
very impressed so far. I also want to introduce you to something special. Do you remember when I took my Speciali to Dubai? I took it to MVN Motorworks. Well, this first drive is also helped out by these guys. Um, there's some big projects coming in the works with those guys, which I shall uh, un unfold soon. But it's wicked to be seeing them over here, all the way over from Dubai, provided some pretty awesome protection and made this thing look so good for this drive. And uh, there's some really big news coming with that that I shall share with you in the coming weeks or months. We'll keep an eye out because I'm very excited about it. But uh, nothing more exciting than driving the Regera up the hill for the first time. Okay, so welcome back to the Koenigsegg Regera. I've tried my best to explain to you the uh, technical tour de force that this incredible machine is, but there is nobody better positioned to give you guys a further insight into this incredible machine than Christian von Koenigsegg himself. Pleasure to see you again. L likewise, good to see you. So I've just been out in this car. Um, one thing I'd love to ask is what was the starting point to think we need a single geared car? So, um I've been driving uh, EVs since mm -hmm. 2012 okay. and uh, pretty powerful ones since 2014, uh, 13. I got my first uh, P8, uh, Model S P85 uh -huh. Plus in 2013 and then my P85D uh, Ludicrous Tesla no, yeah. in, in uh, 14. And I, I realized that the, uh, the rush of direct feedback from input with no delay of shifting or or gasping or turbo delay or whatever and you yeah. just go and you can overtake in an instant, instant uh, is very enthralling and is much more exciting and efficient than the fun of shifting gears and I was just then kind of thinking for years how can I combine this behavior with the DNA of a Koenigsegg, with the te technology we have, the lightness we need to achieve, mm -hmm. because an EV is, is inherently heavy mm -hmm. nowadays. Yep. I mean, maybe they will become lighter eventually, but nowadays they're heavy. And, uh, and after like one and a half year of thinking, an idea crystallized that I threw at my engineering team. They shook their head <laughs> first, their heads first, and eventually, ah, yes, maybe it will work, you know. And, and, and here we are, uh, and you just experienced, and I haven't even heard uh, what you think of it yet. Uh -huh. But, but it's it it does give you that directness, uh, that rush of immediate power, but with a roar, but a roar that is kind of connected to the propulsion and the progression of the car, which a CVT uh, transmission yes. does not allow. But totally, yeah. but that's it. So let's see what you think then. <laughs> so fascinating that you that you started with the idea when you were driving a Tesla because somebody when I was on the Michelin stand earlier they asked me how was it and I said imagine the linear pull of a Tesla with the force of a V8 behind it I mean, <laughs> I mean that's kind of one way of it but in order to really uh, convey that force that this thing gives you I've never driven anything quite like it particularly with in my vision I've got paddles right but you don't need to pull them uh, no, not necessarily, okay. unless you are in lockup mode and you don't want to kind of kick down shift. You want to prepare yourself. You can use them. It's more for okay. fun sure. than need. Yes, let's put it like that. Um, how long did it take you for the relationship between the hybrid, the V8, and the single drivetrain tape? Because if when you drive it, it feels simple, but yes. the art of simple is very difficult. That's it. That's it. So in one way, it's simple because it's few components. But then you have the interaction of combustion, mm -hmm. torque conversion direct drive, electrical motors, uh, uh, and, and, and... It's and, nuts, dude. <laughs> it's nuts. And, and, and it actually, it was easy to get, to, to start driving. Okay. But yeah. it took a long time to refine it. I can, I can imagine. Yeah. Has the single drive helped with coping with... So it's just shy of 1,500 horsepower. Yes. And just shy of 1,500 pounds-feet of torque. Uh, it's 2,000 newton meters of torque. <laughs> So uh, it is, um, I guess, yeah, I guess yes, you're right, yeah. basically. Okay, has having direct drive helped deal with those kinds of forces? 
Uh, definitely, yeah. definitely, because you have no jerkiness. Of course. So if you have a lot of torque and power, and then you have yeah. the slamming of, of shifting, uh, cogs you, you, and things, yeah. yeah, you kind of get duplication of torque. Sure. Uh, and, and, and shock loads. There are no shock loads here. It's just yeah. smooth progression. I when I got to the top of the hill, I likened it as if there was a massive magnet at the top drawing right. me up the hill. It's funny. Yeah. It's a pulling sensation. It really is. It's, yeah. it's something sucking you in. It's yeah. like there's a vacuum in front it's of the just, It's just, <laughs> just like that. It's, it's, it's so strange. <laughs> We've just discussed the crazy power, both horsepower and torque. How did the tires deal with that? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, first of all, yeah. uh, this, let's say the uh, suspension, mm -hmm. uh, the shock absorber, the active shock absorbers, the active ride height, mm -hmm. the active bump and rebound, the long wishbones, all of this are derivatives from the previous programs we do. Mm -hmm. And what we have learned over the years is how to put power to the ground as we've had so much power on, on, two, uh, on one axle. Uh, and and it's, it's a testament that our customers come back to us and say, we can't believe the <laughs> amount of power we can put to the ground through two wheels. Uh, so we're doing our our uh, let's say our job uh, well there but it couldn't be done without the help of Michelin right. uh, because everything goes whatever we do mm -hmm. be between us and the ground we have Michelin <laughs> I guess your contact patch as big as those tires are right. it's still compared to the amount of power going through yes. them, the contact patch is still quite small it is it is but it's shocking the amount of power you can put through two wheels really if you it if you really kind of put your mind to it. Yeah. yeah. I was amazed driving up that hill. Honestly, I was 30% throttle. Right. And it was quick enough. Like it was right. unbelievable. And every now and again, I thought there's, there's so much more grip here. I gave it a bit more of a stamp, yeah. not a slip, no, no, not no. a squirm, not a light on the dash. It no. just, it just kind of squats and goes. That's it's it. an incredible that's feeling. It. And that's important that you say that. Yeah. It does squat a little bit. And that's mm. the key mm. to traction with two wheel drive. Mm. I had a race driver saying, Ooh, it moves around much more than mm. my GT3 race car. <laughs> well, on the GT3 race car, you have 600 horsepower and slicks. <laughs> sure. Here we have road tires and 1500 horsepower. It needs to move needs a little bit. A bit it weight. needs to sit down yeah. and, and squeeze that weight the tire. The back exactly. Yeah. It's not a race car, Fire it's a road car. Exactly. No, it's an amazing thing. Um, I heard that you managed to do your production car land speed record on, were they just stock tires? Completely stock, off the shelf. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And they, 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 they didn't even care about it. It's, Isn't that incredible? It's, it's amazing. Uh, I mean, our cars are light, they're lean on the tires. Yeah. Uh, and then Michelin just does a wonderful job, you know. Fabulous. <laughs> I've driven a fair share of cars in my time. I've never driven anything that felt quite like this. And it is hard to put it in, in to words. Of... It's very hard. I don't really know how to explain it. But the first thing that came out of my mouth when the first person asked me was, it's like the linear pull of a Tesla or an electric car with an incredible V8 combined with that. I mean, if that isn't the recipe for awesomeness, <laughs> I don't know what is, man. Like, <laughs> right. Tough work. Um, it's an honor. Thank you so well, much. I, I really, really appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad under, you made it. I'm glad you, you seem to have enjoyed it. It's been fantastic. <laughs> I'm under the impression that this is a very early car. It is. It's one of the first ones. First cars. So to be able to have the opportunity to drive this at such an iconic event is a real honor. So thank you so much and congratulations on a very special car. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.